Hi guys, welcome to All About Food. Today I will be showing you how to make your own chocolate malfa pudding, the traditional South African way. Just look at this and let me show you how I did it. Hi guys and welcome to All About Food. Today I will be showing you how to make a chocolate malfa pudding. As you can remember, if you go back to our videos, you will see that we have already made a malfa pudding, the South African way. But today I will be showing you how to make a variation of the malfa pudding, just by adding a bit of chocolate. So, firstly let me show you our ingredients. We will be using one egg, 5 mils of baking powder, a pinch of salt, 250 mils of milk, with 5 mils of baking soda, you can add the baking soda so long, and then we will also be using 4 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 250 ml of sugar, 250 ml of cake flour, 25 ml of apricot jam and of course um, 30 ml of vinegar. So this is for the base of our pudding. And then I will be showing you what the sauce will be looking like. So remember, first we're going to bake the malfa pudding and as it comes out of the oven, as hot as you can, you're going to pour over the sauce of the malfa pudding when the pudding is still very hot and the sauce is also like a medium kind of hot. So let me show you the ingredients for the sauce. Okay, so over here we have the ingredients for our sauce that's going to come over um, the malfa pudding as it comes out of the oven. So we've got some vanilla essence. I always use ideal milk in my malfa pudding. It just makes a huge difference. And then of course we've got some cocoa powder again, also four tablespoons. We've got some chocolate chips, just a few, just to give that extra chocolate flavor. We've got 60 ml of butter and of course 250 ml of sugar again and also 125 ml hot water. So all this ingredients we're going to combine and we're going to heat it we don't want it to cook we're just going to heat it and as soon as the pudding gets out of the oven we're going to just throw it over and it's going to seep into your pudding and it's going to be delicious so stay tuned and let me show you how i do my chocolate malfa pudding okay so let's start first i'm going to start with my egg and of course my sugar and we're going to mix this and then we will be adding the rest of our ingredients. So just combine your egg with your sugar. Then you can add your flour. We can add a pinch of salt and then of course we can add our apricot jam. Just mix this nicely. Then I will be adding my baking powder and just half of my cocoa powder and then I'm slowly I just want to mix this because remember we have put the baking soda in here in the beginning so I just want to stir it a little bit then I'm going to add this and then I'll be mixing it again. If you don't like mixing with this, you can always use a wooden spoon, that's fine. Whichever you prefer. So now you can add the last bit of your cocoa powder and of course your vinegar. So now we just mix this up 
until you get a beautiful chocolate base and then we're going to put it into our trays into the oven for 45 minutes at 180 degrees and we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out so now my, my uh, mixture is ready and as you can see I've got a very big pan here and then I've got some individual trays um, so this is also an idea you can can do on Christmas or Thanksgiving or whenever you have friends over you can make everyone their own individual pudding so this is what I'm going to do as well just to show you how beautiful it looks when it comes out if you give everyone their own individual one so I'm just going to fill my pans put them into the oven and then of course we will be seeing what it looks like when it gets out so I'm just going to pour this very slowly and then you go along with all the rest put it in the oven and we'll see what it looks like after 45 minutes okay so now we're going to start with our sauce so I just want to put on my stove top and remember we just want everything to nicely melt together we don't want it to burn and you don't want it to oak so firstly I'll be adding my water And then I'll be adding the sugar I'll be adding the butter I'll be adding a little bit of cocoa powder the chop chips I'm going to add lost because they are small and they we don't want them to burn so now I'm just going to add one can and it's as you can see it's 380 mils so that's what I'm adding here yeah? my ideal milk and then we just want a little bit just a little bit of vanilla essence just a bit so now you can start to stir until everything is nicely melted together and this we will be pouring over the pudding like I said as soon as it gets out of the oven because you want your pudding to be very hot when you pour this over because then it will seep into your pudding so you just keep on stirring until everything is nicely melted as you can see everything is starting to melt so now you can add your chop chips just to add a bit extra of the chocolate flavor but now you just have to to stir and stir because we don't want this to burn guys as you can see they are out of the oven and they are looking pretty nice and chocolatey okay so now what we want to do our sauce is ready you just want to mix it a bit and then you get yourself a nice spoon and then let's do the bigger one first we're just going to dollop this sauce all over and it will be seeping in as soon as it hits the hot pudding okay so now just be careful um, I'm going to tip one of these into one of my boards and show you what it looks like guys as you can see you can serve your chocolate malfoy pudding you can uh, do this you can serve everyone their own pudding or you can make an individual one like you always do but I just want to say <laughs> there's nothing like beautiful malfoy pudding with gorgeous custard to go along with it enjoy guys and please remember to like and subscribe